I'm excited to be with y'all again today. I have a word. Um, you know, I usually come on here and have a lot of uh, negative words that w- what people would call uh, the words that I give are negative, and they say, "Hey, you're, you're doom and gloomer." But but today, I have the opportunity to give you a a, a positive word, an uplifting word, an encouraging word that that people have been believing for 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 decades, decades and decades, maybe thousands of years. Um. You know, uh, cancer has been around for a long, long time. And the Lord spoke to me whenever I was praying. And I, and he opened my eyes up in the realm of the spirit whenever I was praying. And he, he said, Brandon, I'm bringing the cure for cancer. And I saw a man in a lab coat and he was pouring some stuff in this, this, this jar. And all of the sudden, he got, uh, like, Holy Ghost revelation came on his mind. And he saw this with this with this, whatever it was. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. He put it together and then he looked at it underneath the microscope and, and he found by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord spoke to me and he said, this man is not even a uh, born again Christian. And he warned me and he said to me, he said, but Brandon, I'm bringing this to pass because people have cried out and to me for, for, for a long time. And they have been believing for their relatives, people that have went home too early. This is, this has been a plague on humanity. And the Lord said, Brandon, I'm bringing a cure for this. And he said, I'm going to put my, my foot on this. And he said, it will become like, like plagues of the past that were completely eradicated out of, um, basically we don't hear about anymore like leprosy. It's not very, it's not very common to hear about tuberculosis, things like that, that were very deadly in the, in the early 1800s and all that, all that time frame before they came out with the vaccinations and stuff. Um, some of these these viruses and things that were were back then were were very very serious now not so much now you know i mean they have antibiotics and things for it and and it's able to be taken care of a lot easier so uh the lord told me he said this will be a preventative and a cure at the same time he said people can take this and, and they will never even have it in their body. And the people that have it will automatically, uh, it will just leave them. Okay. And it didn't in the way he pre- presented it to me when I was praying was it didn't matter what kind of cancer it was. It was that it would be gone and it wouldn't be a long drawn out process. It would just instantaneously start to turn the, the, the ship around whatever was going on in that person's body when this thing comes out. And the Lord said to me, it would not be a medication. It would be a, it's like a supplement. That's how simple. He said it is so simple. The Lord said it's not going to be something that is, that is like, well, it's, it's like way out there, the technology of this. He said, son, it's something so simple coming from the earth. And he said, whenever you put this and this together, like wherever they're going to put this, these things together, he said it will create the combination that it would take just for the cure for whatever, the, uh, whatever the cancer that they are, they're overcoming in the, the cells in their body. But it's just like it's, it's designed perfectly for it, but it's divine from God. Does that make sense where I'm trying to tell you all? I, I'm doing the best I can with this, but I'm, but, but what I saw in the spirit was, is that the Lord, um, told me that it would become a thing of the past. This would become a, th- cancer would become a thing of the past. And that there would be companies like, I- I'll be careful, um, government things that would rise up against you to try to stop it. But the Lord would put his hand on it to stop them. Because he said, this has been something that has been dealt with for too long. And he said, I'm bringing the, the cure for this, for humanity to, to set them free from this. And, um, I, I was, it, the Holy Spirit was so strong on me whenever he gave me this word. I just, I, I couldn't wait 
to come on here and to tell you all, what the Lord is telling me is coming for the world. It's, it's not even, it really even for just the body. It's because he loved, for God so loved the world that he gave his only, one and only begotten son to who should ever believe in him, should not perish but have everlasting life. He gave it to everybody, salvation. And that's the way God is. He's not just about Christians. He's about loving everybody. He wants to love you, and he wants to love the unbeliever, and he wants everybody to come to repentance so that they don't have to go to hell. Bottom line, folks, and that's the same thing he's doing here. He didn't come and just give it to a believer and say, hey, guess what? It's just for you because you're a Christian. He wants you to get saved. It's the goodness of God that draws man to repentance. It's the goodness of God, folks. He's not a mat, mat God. He's not up there with this big stick hitting people in the head. He wants to love people. He wants to show you his love and his kindness. And he, he gave his son and died for us. And he rose again on the third day. And he is seated right now at the right hand of the father. And I'm telling you, he's coming back again. But he has a, he has a present for all of us. He, Jesus took all those things on the cross for us. We don't have to have it now. But I'm telling you, some people don't have the faith to believe for healing. They don't know how to believe for the cure for cancer. They don't know how to believe for, for diabetes or whatever they're going through. Jesus paid the price for everybody to have health and healing and wellness in their life, to be made whole. But, but sometimes he uses medicine and, and he's able to help folks that don't know how to believe by faith for stuff. And that's just the mercy of God. God's merciful. And so what I'm trying to tell you all is, is that he told me that he is given a supernatural wisdom to this, this man that was mixing stuff and it come on him. And I saw the company name. I saw where it was located. I'm praying over it still. You can pray with me. I'm not going to give that out yet, but I'm praying because I, because I don't want no demonic tr tax trying to come against this because I believe uh, that God's gonna do the, what He said He would do. He, He's bringing this to pass. I'm not gonna be dumb and, and tell, tell everybody what I saw all the way. Because it, it's not wisdom. But I'm gonna tell you, um, the company does exist. The company is, uh, working with supplements and doing things right now. But they, they, I don't even know if they, they, they know anything about it. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is, is I hear things and I see in part, I hear in part, and I see sometimes years in advance. There's been times whenever he has told me to pray for companies that didn't even exist yet, that he wanted to come to pass. And he said, Brandon, he'll give me a name. And he'll say, I want you to pray over this name right here. And he'll spell it out and I'll see it in a vision. And he'll spell it out before me and I'll try to Google and it doesn't exist yet. But he says, I want you to intercede for this name. And, and so I started praying, I pray over the name, pray over the name, pray over the name, pray over the name. For sometimes it seems like months and year goes by, two years goes by, and all of a sudden, I'll just be praying, cause, cause he gives me these cues. And he'll say, I want you to pray over this tonight, this tonight, or whatever. And all of a sudden he came to me and he said, Brain in that company has been birthed and it is existing now. I want you to go Google it and it's there. And I'll go, wow, Lord, look at, look, and I'll look at their stuff and what they're trying to bring about and what, what their mission is. And it's usually for health and wellness and stuff, you know, but, and then, and then I see other companies try to attack it and in lawsuits, and everything else. So the devil don't want people to be restored in, in health. Okay. He, his mission is to kill, steal and destroy. But the Lord said, I have come that you might have life and life more abundantly to, to the extreme, to it overflows. He wants us to live in the overflow of life with joy unspeakable and full of glory. God is a good God and the devil's a bad devil. And I need you to understand that, that there is good days coming too. Yes, there's dark days and yes, there's hard times because we're in the last of the last seconds before Jesus Christ comes back. But I'm telling you folks, there is an anointing on, on, on healing and deliverance and growing out limbs and, and creative miracles that we have not even yet to see yet. 
that Jesus Christ is about to do on this earth with the last outpouring of a great revival that's about to hit this nation around the world. I'm telling you, good days are coming, blessed days are coming, and I just want to encourage you. You know, there's another thing the Lord showed me, and I'm going to, I, I want to give this to you. You know, he told me there's going to be um, block, black swan events coming, uh, distractions, things like that that are, that are, uh, from the deep state, bad, bad things that, that, that he will have to pray against because the enemy is trying to distract and cause things to, to, to not happen that God wants to happen. But he, but, but we all know the devil's defeated and we all know we have authority over the devil. But we have to stand in that place of authority and tell him to get underneath our feet daily. <laughs> but I saw these things trying to come to pass. Now, I told you all about EVs and what I saw a green agenda being pushed out more and more and more. Well, I saw a news article up from Fox stating that the American people and the people of the world were or losing interest in the EVs because of the range, uh, anxiety and all kinds of things. Okay. And it was highlighted to me by the, by the Holy Ghost warning me that the events are going to come to try to get people discouraged from gasoline and try to sway them to go to EVs. Okay. Because of gas prices going up again. I saw gas prices going high. I saw lines for, um, I wasn't born in the 1970s, but I heard about it, and the Lord warned me about it, about lines for gasoline for a long time, because they couldn't get the gas in the stations, so people were lined up a long time to get the gas, and so, gas wars, and so, um, the Lord warned me about these things trying to manifest again, trying to sway people to go, uh, the green agenda again, and so, just letting you all know, this is something to be on alert about, to pray about, that, that the Lord would, ha that the Lord would, um, stop all this evil. The, 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 these men's agenda, uh, are, are gonna fall. They think they're gods. They think they can rule and reign things with their finances and with what they're doing. But I'm telling you, dad's about ready to spank some heinies. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna take his big spiritual stick out and, in, 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 in spank some rears. And so, um, I saw a man that, uh, I pray about a lot and he's, uh, uh over a lot of a dark agenda and the Lord warned me and he said this to me, he cause when I was praying over him, he said to me, he said, Brandon, I'm going to deal with that. And that's going to be something that overnight it will be over. And so I looked at the man's age and he's older, he's in his elderly years. And he told me, he said, he's, he's going to go home soon. And so he told me, he said, I'm going to deal with that. He said, you're not going to have to be thankful about that anymore. He said, but there will be other dark, dark men that rise up and take his place. He said, but that man is judgments coming. And I saw him being dealt with. And the Lord warned me about that and told me, uh, he said, brain and I, you judgment is is going to hell for eternity separation from god for eternity true judgment and and i it was very concerning to me because i know this man is not born again he's a very dark man and so i'm just letting you all know there's going to be some people in high positions that god's going to start to deal with them and they'll be here one minute and they're gone the next because i'm telling you it's, it's like this, the Lord warned me and he said, Brandon, there's an acceleration of seed time and harvest on the earth. He said, people that are walking in darkness and walking in, in, in evil there, he said, if you, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. And he said, there's going to be acceleration of good and there's going to be acceleration of seed time and harvest concern in bad things. Okay. So when we see these people that have been sowing bad, 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 they're going to reap what they've sowed. Okay. So when you've sowed good and you sow good things, you sow your tithes, you sow your offerings and you give to the Lord and you're sowing your time to the church, you're blessing your, your elders, you're taking care of the widow and the orphan. You're doing what God has commissioned us to do in the great, in the great commission. 
to go into all the world, preach the gospel, all the things that he told us to do, you've got good seed in the ground. And you're going to start reaping an b- amazing harvest off of this because that because that the harvesters are coming with the sowers and they're going to catch up with each other. I'm telling you, supernatural increase is coming to your house. You're going to start to see where you sowed your seed, the manifestation of what you sowed within a couple of hours. And you're going to go, wow, because I'm telling you, seed time and harvest is accelerating. So we're going to see that, but we're also going to see the darkness and they're going to start to reap what they've sowed from the perversion, from sex trafficking, from drugs to prostitution, to all these things that they've inflicted on people, these pent bosses and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? God said, I'm bringing judgment on this stuff because seed time and harvest is going to accelerate. So that's all that that right there just said, wow. You know, to me, you see these people that are practicing evil and you think they're getting by with it. And oh, where's their, where's their uh, judgment? Why do they keep getting away with all this darkness? They're not, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, payday's coming and it's going to be a bad day, bad payday for these people. And they're going to wake up in hell. And, you, and, and if you're one of them and you're watching my video, you better turn before you burn. It's time for you to repent and get on your knees and cry out to the Lord Jesus Christ and ask him to forgive you from, from what you've been doing. And, and you know what the Lord, the word says that if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you for your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So you better get your heart right before Jesus Christ right now because your time is running out. Jesus is coming and he's coming back soon. And I hope you all are getting your hearts ready. I've seen people to ask me, do I have, uh, I I don't want to get right before the Lord. I've given the Lord a, 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 like a, a, like a bargain thing. I want to live the way I want to live right now in the next 10 years or whatever. I'll give my heart to Christ. I had a, a, a really amazing email from a man in Australia that was living. It was raised in a Christian home, but an abusive home. And I'm going to have him on the channel sometime soon. But he, long story short, he died and went to hell. And he saw all the things in hell. And I'm going to have him on sometime. And I want him to tell what he saw when he went to hell. But he was tormented beyond anybody's comprehension. And I'm telling you, hell's real and so is heaven. And in, and the Lord, out of his mercy, brought this man back. And he is now born again, spear field, loved the Lord. And he is serving God as, as is right now for what I understand. But I'm telling you, there's mercy concerning people. But I'm telling you, time is running out. And we've got to get our hearts right before Jesus Christ. Because I'm telling you, he's coming. And there will be a time just like it was. It says, as in the days of Noah, so will it be when the Son of Man returns. And I'm telling you folks, the door of the ark is getting ready to close. And if you don't have your life right, you'll be like the people mocking him. That you, you, there's a lot of people that mock me and they ridicule me on the comment section telling me I'm a false prophet and all, all the drama and whatever. But I don't care. I'm going to keep telling you Jesus is coming, and you better listen to me. They mocked Noah, and I'm telling you, there was a day when, whenever he, he told them the rain was coming, the floods were coming, and that first drop hit on their forehead. That first drop hit on you. There's going to be a drop of water hit on your forehead just like that, but it's not going to be that. It's going to be the time whenever the rapture of the church comes, and, or, or, and, he, and we're caught up with him, and a twinkling of an eye. And we're going to be changed. And I'm telling you that day's coming and that door of that ark is getting ready to close. And he's going to say, time's up. But you still have time right now. You still have time. You can give your heart to Jesus right now. You don't have to go to a devil's hell. You can go to heaven. You don't have to. It's appointed unto man once to die. And after that, the judgment. But I'm telling you, you can turn your life around right now. You can turn it around right now. Run from sin. Run from the devil. 
because he don't have a plan for you. God has a plan for you. So I want to pray for you. Uh, you know, there's people that, it, it, that, that, oh, and this is something else. Some people say uh, after they feel like they have a devil, they need deliverance. You should know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Find scriptures about being free. The wicked one will touch you not. Find scriptures that, 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 that will help feed your spirit. Feed your spirit. And I'm telling you, the more you get in the word, the more you renew your mind. And you get scriptures down inside of you. On an hour-to-hour -hour basis, they say Smith Wigglesworth used to carry a little uh, a New Testament Bible in his pocket. And every 15 minutes when he was walking around, he would pull, pull it out and read a couple verses in that New Testament. That's how you do it. You be being filled with the Holy Ghost. You've got to fill yourself up every, as much as you can, because we leak out. We're in a very sinful world. But you keep filling your eyes and filling your heart with the Word of God. And in that, that's what's going to set you free from demonic spirits. And we're going to, we can deal with that. We'll take care of it. They don't have, but I'm telling you, if you don't fill yourself up with the Word, they're going to come back with eight more of their friends. And then you, then you're going to be even more bound and even worse because the Bible said, go and sin no more, lest the worst thing come on you. So I'm telling you all, you got to get in the Word and you stay free. Renew your mind to the Word of God. Fill your heart with the Word. Take communion daily. Get in prayer. Seek Him. Volunteer at a church. Do whatever God, do whatever's on your heart to help folks out. Don't be just about you. Help people. So that's what I have for you all today. I, I hope, I hope that bless you. But I'm telling you, great breakthroughs coming too. It's not all doom and gloom. Now I'm gonna pray for you all. Father, I just thank you for every single person who's here and represented on, on this YouTube channel watching my videos. I thank you, Father, whatever they have need of, that you said in your word that you've come to set the captors free. And I thank you, Lord, that they're healed and whole and well in the name of Jesus, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. They're delivered from cancer. They're delivered from diabetes and heart disease. And Father, you put it on my heart really special this morning about people who are believing for babies. Father, I thank you, Lord, that in 2024, they will have that child, whatever they, maybe even have twins, who knows. But God, I believe inside of me that you are that miracle working God. And the Father, if you would do it for Abraham and Sarah, you will do it for them. And I thank you, Lord, that you're bringing forth babies right now in the name of Jesus. When we speak to seed of the man, we speak to uh, in, in being infertile. And I call you healed and whole and well in Jesus' name. I speak to women's ovaries. I speak to their flip, fallopian tubes and, and all their uterus and, and, and their, their, they will not have mesca miscarriages anymore. I speak to the, their vine will not cast fruit before the time. I speak life into the womb right now in the name of Jesus. And I call a healed and whole. Oh, I just saw somebody's fixing to have a baby boy. I saw somebody right now you're believing for a baby boy. And you're going to get a baby boy in Jesus' name. I speak life over that womb. I speak life over that body. And I say in the name of Jesus, you will live and not die. We call healing and wholeness or wellness over that body right now. N nothing's too impossible for God. Father, I thank you, Lord, for new kidneys, new hearts, new does it, new, new, um, uh, uh, attendance and, uh, shoulders and, and, and whatever they may need, Lord. Whatever they may need. Nothing's too big. Father, I thank you, Lord, for prostates that are healed and whole and well in Jesus' name. We curse infection in those in Jesus' name. We command it to go. And we say go in the name of Jesus. Go right now. Infection, you have no right to stay. And we command a healing flow over it like an antibiotic by the Holy Ghost. Going in and cleaning up whatever needs to be cleaned up. We thank you, Lord, for deliverances from demonic spirits. 
We command every demonic spirit to go from your body right now in the name of Jesus. From the top of your head to the sole of your feet, we call healing and deliverance over you in the name of Jesus. For whom the Son has set free is free indeed. It breaks off your mind, break off your thinking, and Father, I take authority over bipolar disorder right now in the name of Jesus. We command it to go in Jesus' name. We call healing and wholeness or wellness over their mind. I call PTSD out of them in Jesus' name. Deliver from the top of the head to the soles of their feet. Deliver from PTSD. We call healing and wholeness or wellness over their mind. In Jesus' name, no more torment over their night. I call, oh, that is, ah, Father. I dissolve somebody. You're being tormented in your sleep. Almost on a continual basis, you haven't had a good night's sleep in a long time because you keep having these nightmares and, and reoccurring bad dreams and from ev torment, from things that have happened to you. I called you delivered from that in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, go right where they are and deliver. There, de you are delivered from the power with the power of the blood of Jesus over your mind. And I say in the name of Jesus, you are free. No more. I heard the Spirit of the Lord say, Anoint your bed with oil. Anoint your home with oil. This is a demonic spirit that has been sent to torment you. Anoint your forehead with oil and, and before you go to bed and put, say, I put a bloodline over my mind right now. And I will sleep sound. He gives his beloved sweet and restful sleep. Remember that. Find scriptures about sleep and meditate on those before you go to bed. And anoint your mind with the oil. And say, I will not be tormented by bad dreams anymore. I put a bloodline over my mind. Satan, thus far and no further. You bow your knee. You get out of my house. This is a, this is a little devil. This little devil. This is just a little bitty imp devil. I'm telling you, this is a principality. On this. this is a little, this little devil. Get it out. You have authority over it. Now put, put it over your mind. It wouldn't matter if it's a big devil, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus set you free from all of it. I'm telling you, you, if you saw what is tormenting you in your sleep for how long you've been tormented, you would be I, furious right now. Cause I just saw it in the spirit room. This is like a little devil with like a little monkey. You need to get it out of here, but you gotta anoint your head with oil. I'm see, I seen in the spirit realm, and I'm telling you, those days are done. You're not going to be bound by that devil no more. I'm angry for you, because I saw what's messing with you. Now anoint your bed of oil and tell that devil, get out of my house. And don't let him bother you no more. I plead the blood over you, and you're a plea the but those days are done. Those days are done. You're not going to be tormented by that no more. That's breaking off of you right now. Who? I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm happy for you. But I'm telling you, you got authority over that devil. You put a, you put a bloodline over your house, put it over your, oh, oh, over your bedpost and over the foot. See, you didn't torment me no more. Like I said, find scriptures. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. No more torment of PTSD. Anoint your mind of oil too. I see it. Put it over that, 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 uh, all oil. You get it at, uh, off of Amazon. You get, uh, uh, anointing oil from those places and you get it. You don't have to be all super religious about it. G Jesus knows your heart. He knows your heart and what you're trying to do. Anoint your head of oil. And if my cup runneth over, Lord, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. How do I love you, Lord, and you're good to us. Father, I thank you, Lord, for every single person. I call them healed and whole and well. No matter how big, no matter how small, you're faithful, Father. You're a good God, and you're merciful. We call you, we call them deliver, we call them well in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for it, in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen and amen. If you're still watching, if you could, please click that notification bell. Click that thumbs up. Click the like. 
is subscribe, all those things. I'm telling you all, you are helping to get the gospel out. And we are getting people saved throughout the whole world because of this YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you for your support and how much you've helped us out.